Good evening, everybody. It is March 14th, Tuesday, 2023. It is 11.06 in the evening. Okay, this is part two, chapter one, Me and My Big Mouth, Joyce Meyer. Please notice the ifs in this passage. So often we choose to ignore the ifs and buts in the Bible. Consider, for example, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. God is faithful, reliable, trustworthy, and therefore ever true to his promise, and he can be depended on. By him, you were called unto companionship and partisanship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. But I urge and entreat you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in perfect harmony and full agreement in what you say, and that there be no dissensions or factions or divisions among you but that you be perfectly united in your common understanding, in your opinions and judgments. We see that God is faithful, and we also see that we draw upon that faithfulness by honoring him with obedience and relationships. Our disobedience does not change God. He is still faithful, but obedience opens the door for the blessing that is already there due to God's goodness to flow to us. This book will be a tragedy in my estimation if I try to teach you that I can have what we say without clarifying that what we say must line up with the word of God and his will. Speaking to our mountains is not a magic charm or incantation that we pull out and use when we are in trouble or when we want something for ourselves and then continue on in carnality and a disobedient lifestyle. Mere infants. However, brethren, I could not talk to you as to spiritual men, but as to non-spiritual Men of the flesh in whom the carnal nature predominates. As to mere infants in the new life, in Christ, unable to talk yet. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1. As long as you and I are carnal, we should hope and pray that God shows us mercy and that we do... And that we do not get what we say. We will be saying a lot of things that are our will and not God's will. Simply because we cannot tell the difference yet. As babies in Christ, we simply do not know how to talk yet. As Paul tells us here in this passage. <laughs> Just as natural babies must learn to speak the language of their elders, so Christians must learn how to talk God's way. Learning to speak God's language. For everyone who continues to feed on milk is obviously inexperienced and unskilled in the doctrine of righteousness. Of conformity to the divine will in purpose, thought, and action. For he is a mere infant, not able to talk yet. But solid food is for full-grown men, for those whose senses and mental faculties are trained by practice to discriminate and distinguish between what is morally good and noble and what is evil and contrary either to divine or human law. Hebrews chapter 5, 13 and 14. 
that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.